magnify the Lord with me. Say it like you mean it. Magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Yes, let us exalt his name together. Precious Lord, we just thank you for another opportunity to come into your presence. We thank you, Father God, that even though it's raining outside, we have joy and sunshine in our hearts inside. We thank you, Father God, that even though we may not see all of our friends and family members here, we are here. We thank you for the first family, Lord God, in this eight years that you have given them in Mount Zion Tabernacle church. Oh, what a wonderful eight years it has been. Father God, you brought them through some ups and through some downs, but Lord God, they are still here and still standing, Lord God. Thank you for everyone who stands with them, Lord God. Every man, every woman, and every child, Lord God, we magnify your name because it is because of you that we are here today. We thank you, Father God, that when the times get rough, Father God, we know that we can lean and depend on you. We thank you, Father God, that when we don't have joy in our hearts, we know that you say in your word, we can endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. We thank you, Father God, that when we have to bury our loved ones and say goodbye to them, you tell us that you have beauty for our ashes. Lord God, we just thank you. Thank you, Father God. We ask you to consecrate the service here today. Father God, consecrate the singing here today. Consecrate the music here today and the word, Lord God. Let everyone leave here today different than how they came in. Hearing the word from the man of God, Father God. Hearing the word, Lord God, that you have chosen for today. Father, let the meditations of his mouth, Father God. Let the words of his mouth the meditations in his heart be acceptable in your sight this day. We pray. We offer this prayer to you. We thank you. We thank your son. And we thank you for Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. 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 Don't stop clapping your hands. We came to have a good time in the name of the Lord. How many know that I don't know what you come to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Amen.
tell you what, you know, sometime in my church, I just want to throw in a towel, amen, amen, because see, you got to make some folk praise God, but when I look up in the hill, you see some young folk, you see some older folks, amen, amen, but well, God is just good, amen, amen, you see a man of God, he'll show out when he get around, people that know how to praise God, <laughs> amen, 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 so I'm presiding this, right, amen. so I'm the master ceremony, right, all right, so let me go ahead and quarterback this thing then, all right? Well, first of all, let me go ahead and let me recognize the Holy Spirit uh, that he is in this place. Yeah. Truly, he's in this place, amen. He is our life, amen. To this great angel of this church, amen, amen. Reverend Murray, amen. My brother in the gospel, amen. Amen. And one thing I just got to say about this man right here. He's been married for a long time, right? See, I, I ain't gonna get no counseling from anybody now. You know, me and my wife, we celebrate our fifth year anniversary last, last year. I'm sorry, last week. And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and one thing about, you know, uh, Reverend Murray, you know, he, uh, he always called me out the blue. I'll reach out to him, but he'll call me out the blue. And he called me right on time. Always give me some type of advice. Yeah. Amen. But a lot of time when I go back and I talk to my wife, I don't tell her. You told me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. But whatever I told her, it worked. Amen. 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 So we just thank God. Amen. That's truly godly counsel. Amen. 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 And to his beautiful wife, Sister Mary. Yes, Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Recognize not only the first woman in this house, but she's the only woman. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Hillary Clinton found out that Bill Clinton had a second woman. Amen, amen. But we thank God for the only woman up in this house. Amen. It ain't the White House. Amen, but it's God's house. Amen, amen. So at this time, 
we're going to have the, um, the doxology. I can't sing, y'all, so y'all going to have to. Can we all stand, please? Holy, holy. Sister Banks, amen, back in 2013, I proposed to her my third month. I, I knew that she was going to be my wife because the first thing she asked me, you know, what are you looking for out of a woman? I said, I'm looking for a wife. Amen. And that third month, I, I proposed to her that following year, we got married, and here we go. Amen. 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 So, Sister Banks, you in the house. Amen. At this time, we have the welcoming occasion. Deaconess in training, Sister Valerie Woodley. Welcome to Mount Zion, where you are loved here or what? Leave here. They got it. Um, we just want to say welcome. Um, this is the first family's eighth year in ministry. Amen. I've been here five years, and when I say they're solid, they haven't changed. I've seen people come and people go, but these two plus the three, they remain the same. I mean, it's like surreal. I never, the way he loves her. That's what made me join the church when I first came because I love to hear him say, she's the sweet potato to my pie. She's the sugar to my... I love that. So, I mean, it, 
I, I, I can't explain it. It's just too good. It's, it's like it's too good to be true. But I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all for worshiping with us, helping us celebrate our first family. Um, we have two more weeks of services. If y'all want to come back next week at 11 and the following week at 11 or 3.30, y'all welcome to do that. But y'all know we're going to welcome y'all with open arms. Just want to say thanks for worshiping with us. Serving and giving. Yes, Amen. 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 It's the best time right here. Amen. 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 No money, no ministry. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. 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 Can't run no ministry without no money. Yes. Amen. So we're going to ask, do we, do we have any officers to come and collect? Or you just have, do you have the ushers? Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Amen. Electronic payments taken in the back. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Pastor, do you do you want the prayer now or after? Okay. All right. <laughs> Father God, we only come, Lord, to give back, Lord, a small portion, Lord, that belong to you, Father God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Asking, Lord, that you will bless this offering, Lord. Bless those who gave, bless those who desire to give, but didn't have it, Father God. Mm -hmm. Most of all, Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray, O oh, Lord, that this offering, Lord, may be used for uplifting of your kingdom. Yes, we thank you, Father God, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to have the introduction. Uh, I see it say here, the speaker. Uh -huh. Amen. But I believe he's a preacher. Yes, he is. Amen. 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 It's funny, the first time me meeting him, I asked him what was his name. Amen. He told me they called him Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I grabbed that brother arm. I said, I see why they call you. Hey <laughs> man, hey man. So we want to ask the first lady, hey man, of this preacher, uh, Sister Renee Wall. She come and introduce 
Okay, well, he, right. it's, the, it's the pastor now. He ain't no lady, but it's the pastor. Come on, man. Hey, man, now, I ain't no woman. I've been a man all, all of my life. But <laughs> so we know that this beautiful uh, yeah. uh, sister uh, falls. If you do not know, she she still works at uh, Baldwin. Yeah, she's still up there. Yeah, yeah she let, still works at um, one of the uh, Romanian Cemetery uh, homes over here in the Onacoa area. So I know her her life is busy morning, noon, and night. So we thank God for her and the New Generations Church. Um, this brother right here, I mean, you see the bio. I mean, really, that's all the upfront stuff. But let me give you some behind the scenes stuff about this brother. Um, uh, when I first met him, he was actually pastoring a uh, church down on the Conway area, and uh, he was going through some trials and tribulations of what God would have him to do within the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, um, God continues to send me with like-minded men and women of God. Mm -hmm. And I explained to him that, that nothing, there's no persistence without resistance. Mm -hmm. and that if anything comes your way, something must come against it in order to show that the purification of God is taking place. Yeah. And he uh, allowed me to just help him where I could, and from that day forth, we've been a blessing to one another. Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, we, uh, we talk, we, we laugh, we, we cry, whatever we need to do. Uh, we, we, we dine together, we may stop and have breakfast sometimes and chat. And But one thing I love about him is consistency of his desire to lead the people of God correctly. Amen? Because uh, you can lead people any kind of way you want to lead. But what I love about him is, he, he, if he's not sure, he'll just say, Pastor Murray, what's going on? You know, I'm thinking, you know, what do you think? And not that my opinion is everything, but I'm just honored to know he would even ask me. And I go back and forth with him about things that I'm doing. And he tells me what he said. You know, I hear you, Doc, but you know, hey, you know, look left, not right. Mm -hmm. And that's the importance of what true brotherhood is in the ministry. Right. So I promise you this. The brother's going to bring you a word from heaven. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, it's going to be true and correct. Amen. Right. Right. And most of all, he's going to love you while he does it. Amen? Amen. Right. Now, there are three components of love. Amen? Amen. And what are they? Correction. 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 All right. So if you feel like he's correcting you, directing you or protecting you, then you are feeling the feeling of love. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I want you to put your hands and stretch them out to the pulpit. I want you to just say together with me. Lord. Lord. Bless Pastor Herky. Bless Pastor Herky. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Bless us. Bless us. The next voice you hear but none other than the pastor of the New Generations Church, Pastor Herky Wong. I just want to say this before I get started. It's so good to see all of y'all. Sometimes we take life for granted. Yes. And when you see each other, why don't you just put a smile on your face? Yes. So what I want right now, I want everybody to just look at somebody. Don't look at them and smile because they funny looking. <laughs> but just look at them and just smile and say, so good to see you. Now, 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 now since, since uh, Pastor Mary, before I even get started, now, are everybody okay? Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm old school. I'm so old school, I was born in the 60s where it says, yes ma'am. And no, sir. Uh, I hold the door open for women all the time. I pull the seat out, and guess why? Because I'm a real man of God. So, if y'all don't mind, I got some people in my background that I can't see. So, can y'all come out here? Y'all, come on, come on. We, we go. Can we be family? Now, look here, look here. I didn't come all the way over here. For y'all to just sit there and look at me. I come here to lift up the name of Jesus. Now you gonna come with me or you gonna sit there? All right, all right, all right. Now, now, uh, before I get started, ain't, ain't no, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, uh, I'm old school. And, and I'm gonna give you what the Lord told me to give y'all. And... If you get mad, don't get mad at me. 
Don't get mad at Stanley. And don't get mad at Tamika. Because we all in this together. But before I get started, I got to say this. Because because I'm, I'm, first of all, Pastor, I love you. Amen. Sister Tamika, I love you. Now, I know what you've been going through. All right? But God is faithful. He's all right. Now, eight years, you know what the number eight means? New, New beginnings. Yes. Come on, man. God's yes, got something for y'all. Yes, y'all ready for it? Yes, sir. Because if you're ready for it, you better come on. Now, look. Yes, now, you going to find out your real friends. Oh, yeah. come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Yes, you going to find out your real friends when you start getting blessed. Yes, Talk to me somebody. Yeah. You can sit here if you want to. Yeah. I'll preach by myself. Yeah. But see, you're going to find out who your real friends yeah. are when they start blessing you. Yeah. Now, everybody that say they're your friend. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, now, but, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Pastor. Ain't nobody ever been in nothing like that. Huh? Y'all ain't never lost no friends who said they were your friend or you really wasn't no friend and they talked about you and they, you knew they was talking about you but you prayed for them anyway. Yeah. Yeah. See? Oh, okay, I'm going to get it. I'm going to come here in a minute. Christians. Real Christians. Now, I ain't talking about this, this lukewarm people. I'm talking about real Christians. You got to be so bold in today's world than you ever been before. Yeah. Yeah. If you go preach, yeah. preach. All right. All right. If you go serve him, serve him. Yeah. Not just on Sunday. Yeah. This is an everyday thing. Oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to serve him on Monday, but I ain't going to serve him on the Tuesday. I don't know about you, but I love him 365 days a day. But see, Pastor, is that right? <laughs> I'm going to give you a word today. Uh, and and when, when I was wrestling with it, you know, the pastor told me about his mother. And, and, and then I thought about my mama, because my mama left in 08. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. Can I tell you something? Yeah. From experience, yeah. it don't get no better. Yeah. But you know what gets better? We get better because we're going somewhere. All right, all right. See, when you know where you're going, it gets better. Right, yeah. But the flesh, yeah. it don't get no better. And when people come up to you and say, oh, Doc, I know how you feel. No, they don't. Hey, hey okay, by the show of hands, anybody lost anybody special to them? It's something else, ain't it? Huh? And see, that's why us real Christian folks, it's time out for playing church. I don't have time. To play with folks. And you know what I've learned? I ain't got time to get in everybody else's business. Thank you. I know I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. But I don't have time to get in your business. Because I'm trying to take care of my business. There's a song I know you, all y'all Holy Ghost feel fire baptized. You ain't never heard of this song six months. The Myers and six months to leave. I know somebody else was in the world. Oh, that's a six months of taking care of your business and the other six that are everybody else's business. See, us Christian folks, when you walking around the streets of Orlando, act like you're a Christian. Stop walking around like you in the world. Look, everything. Oh, can I say it? I ain't accepting everything the world say is. That's right. That's right. Here what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. No, it's wrong because he said it was wrong. I hear you. Oh, you. Oh, come on. I hear you. Come on. Now. Oh, do I got some real Christians in the yes, house? I hear you now. See, when you're a real Christian, everybody ain't going to like you. They're sure you're right. But you ain't got to like me because I'm going to love you no matter what. I'm going to love you. You know why I'm going to love you? Because that's what the Bible told me to do. There's two commandments that we got to do. Love God with all your heart, mind, and soul and love your neighbor as yourself. That's what the Word said. You know what I love about y'all? About us Christian folks? Can I tell you? 
what I love here is that we love to tell the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. You may not like me, but let me tell you, my dad left me uh, March the 5th, 2018, one of the tryingest times of my life. Because you know relatives, when you lose a loved one, relative something else. Yes, they are. Oh, no. okay. It's just me. It's just the Walls family. Y'all ain't never... Boy, my, my, now, now, I'm in Florida. My relatives is in Texas. All them jokers. All right? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say jokers? Okay. Uh, that's a good word, jokers. And, 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 and my daddy left me in charge. He said, son, you're the baby boy. I want you to handle everything. But it was a church that he went to that they didn't pay no attention to him for the three months he was sick. Prior to that, my daddy said, whatever you do, don't lay my feet at that church. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh, wow. You ain't heard nothing yet. So all of my brother's sisters went to that certain church. So now, that one down there, I'm talking about me. That one down there. That one, the little boy. You know, who running everything. That Herky. That Hercules down there. He got it. He's in charge. They ain't having the service at the church. They having it at his uncle's church. Yeah. On the request of my father. So I preached this eulogy. And I wasn't talking to nobody but my family. And I preached a sermon titled, It's Time to Straighten Up. Yeah. After I said that, all them... Uh -huh. Jokers. <laughs> Thank you. All them jokers that were supposed to be my aunties yeah. and my relatives yeah. come up to me and say, well, we sorry. No, too late now. Too late. Now, I love you anyhow, but anyway, can't nobody. Come on. Do me like Jesus. Come on. Can't nobody. Stand to your feet. Do me like the Lord. Can't nobody. Do me like Jesus, he's my friend. Say it in one more time, I say it again. Nobody. What? Do me like Jesus, I can't nobody. Do me like the Lord, I said I can't nobody. Do me like Jesus, he's my friend. For me, guess what? He healed my body and told me to run on. You say, Heal my body. Yeah, and told, told me to run on. So he healed my body and told me to run on. He's my friend. Ain't nobody. Say, Ain't nobody. Do me like Jesus. Tell two people he's my friend. Tell two people. Yeah, 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 yeah. God has smiled on me. Come on, y'all know this. He has set me free. Set me free. 
Come and say Like the old people just say. You will open up our spiritual ears, open up our spiritual eyes, open up our spiritual hearts, open up our spiritual minds that we can receive this word. Father, as I decrease, I ask that you will increase. Father, bless us with your word. And Father, we ask all this in the powerful name of Jesus. I want everybody to say amen. 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 I have a word for you. If you don't get excited. I'm going to be excited by myself. I said I got a word for you. Now see, you get excited about the Super Bowl. You get excited about the NBA All-Star Game. But when it comes to the word, when I say I got a word for you, you should have been jumping. Now let's try that one more time. I got a word. See, when you a real Christian, can, can I talk? Sister Tamika, when you're a real Christian, it don't matter what folks say about That's you. Right. Right. Huh? You know why? Because, see, I know where I'm going. Yeah. And you're right, brother. My name's Hercules. My daddy did it. All right. But my daddy knew that I was going to go up against some stuff. Yeah. Especially them jokers. Yeah. But, see, you know what? I handle them, watch this, with prayer. Yeah. See, you love your enemies. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. You love them, even if they're your relatives. That's right. Then the worst. Oh, okay, let me come on. Let's say that. I want you to turn with me, and then I'm going to give the reverence and honor to First Lady and the pastor of this church. I want you to turn with me to St. Mark chapter 4. And when I was looking at this particular event, I looked at their particular theme, and I was trying to find something to hook up with the theme. But the Holy Spirit said, no, that ain't what I want you to do. So how many of you know you got to be obedient? Yes, yes. Oh, come on. Yes, yes. Look with me in St. Mark chapter 4, and we're going to start at verse number 35. When you find it, say amen. amen. And the same day when the, when the evening was come, mm -hmm. he said unto them, listen, let us pass over unto the other side. Somebody say the other side. The other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, please say the multitude. The multitude. They took him even as he was in the ship. Uh -huh. And there were also with him, say, other little ships. Other little ships. Remember that. Remember other little ships. Yeah. And there arose a great storm of wind. Mm -hmm. And the waves beat unto the ship. So that it was now full. <clears throat> and he was in the hinder part of the ship, a sleeping on a pillow. Say, Jesus just chilling out. Yeah, just chilling out. And they awaked him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. Say a great calm. Great calm. And he said unto them, why are you so fearful? Yes, sir. How is it that ye have not faith? Oh. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this? That even the wind and the seas obey him. I want you to look at somebody with all the buoyancy you can and tell them, remember what Jesus said. Remember what Jesus said. Look, look at somebody else say, we're going to the other side. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Uh, 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 Pastor Stanley Marion, 
Sister Tamika Mary, I, I want to tell you this. Uh, Psalms 37, 22 says, The steps of a good man slash woman are ordered by the Lord. I, I just want to let y'all know that God is ordering your steps. And I'm, I'm going to give you this because this is just putting in my spirit. If the people want to go, let them go. You got work to do. First of all, I want to give all reverence to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The pastor and first lady and fellow yoke men keep on working. I said keep on working. You want to be, if you want to get, oh, can I, can I talk football? I know you're a Cowboy fan. God bless you. I know you're a Cowboy fan. They tried. Them, them, Rams is, them Rams is a little bit too much. But anyway, let's go back over here. If you don't get in the game, get in the game. If you don't want to get in the game, get out. Because I, I want to find some real men that's ready. I want to find some real women that's really, that's committed. Are you committed? My question to you, are you committed? There's a place in the Bible, in Matthew 17, 4, and Jesus was talking to Elijah and Moses. And Peter said, it is good to be in the house of the Lord. I don't know about you, but this place should be packed with people. I don't get it, Pastor. Even, even at my congregation, I wonder where the people at, but yet and still they call when something wrong. Oh, 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 oh. I hope you got on some big shoes today because I'm planning on stepping on a lot of them. If you don't like it, take it up with the Lord. But it should be packed. The, 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 the community that we're living in, the, the way have you saw the news lately? Amen. What's good is bad, what's bad is good, what's right is wrong, what's wrong is right. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stay with the word. It's a blessing. It is a blessing more than a privilege to be here this morning, this afternoon, at night. I don't care where I go, I'm taking Jesus with me. See, see, listen, look, 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 look. Being a pastor, being a man of God, being a woman of God, you just not a pastor, man, a woman of God on Sundays. Don't you know that you got people watching you all the time? That's right. Hoping. You mess up. That's right. That's Hoping right. you make That's a mistake. Right. That's right. Hoping you say a bad word. That's right. That's right. That's right. You preach it. They hope you say something bad. I got so many enemies, I'll stop counting. But I don't care because I got the fool. Oh my God. Come on. That's right. I ain't scared of you. Come on. I ain't scared of none of y'all. Anyway, let me stay with it. Stay with it. Pastor Mary, there's a poem that fits you when it comes to your leadership. And it goes like this. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you're a leader. Did y'all hear that? John Quincy Adams said that. Here's another one for you, brother. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. Uh -huh. Warren Bennett said that. Listen to this. Henry Adams said this, and brother, this is all you. A teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. Oh, get that. See, his leadership will affect eternity. It ain't never going to stop. Staying up under this leadership, let me tell y'all something. This man came in my life eight years ago when I was, I had, let me talk to the real folk. <laughs> Have anybody ever wanted to cut somebody out? Hallelujah. Glory. Oh, I'm in the right house. Has anybody ever wanted to just tell somebody how you really feel? This man stopped me from doing that. This man right here. Okay, let me get back up here. Oh, I just want to make sure I'm with the real folks. You with the real folks. Am I with the real folks? See, see, see. Us Christians, us Christians, let's tell it like it is. That's right. See, if you know you slipping, call somebody. That's right. You pastor, you need to pray for me. I'm about to slap that. Oh, 
t-shirt, teach it, help somebody. Oh, oh, y'all thought, did, 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 did. How, how you think heaven gonna be? Heaven gonna be straight up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and can the teacher say, everybody ain't going to heaven. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. some of y'all folks who think they go, well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't bother nobody. I take, I take care of my own business. Yeah, but do you know Jesus? Yeah. That's, right. That's the question. Do you know Jesus? Because see, the way you act, it don't look like you know Jesus, but I know him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Making the decision to go from where you are presently, spiritually. You need to make a decision that you're ready to go to the next level. I believe Jesus is making the same statement that he told the boys on the boat. Oh my! He said, get in the boat. We're going to the other side. Now Jesus done told you what to do. But you don't want to do it. Uh -huh. See, you want to do it your way. Hey, what's that? What's that burger thing? Burger King. Have it my way. That's what's wrong with you. That's why you got diabetes. That's why you eating all that bad food. Oh yeah, I'm a health nut. I eat right. I drink right, and I don't mean no whatever y'all drink. Oh, stay with it, hurt. Stay with it. But see, I'm not worried. See, me and, me and Pastor go way back. I'm coming back next year. Uh -huh. I sit way in the back. I sit back there by that flower. Matter of fact, why won't you put my name over there? Reverend Hercules, I sit way back there. I'll preach from back there. If you don't want me here, I ain't scared of you. And I'm going to be here. I this is my man. This is my man. I told him a year ago, man, I will fight for you and I'll fight for you. And guess what? I guess what? I remember, I'll never forget, I was in a fight one time. Uh -huh. Anybody ever been in a fight? Yeah. I was in ninth grade. I told him, his name was Ricky Pierce. Uh -huh. He was the bully of the school. Yeah. So everybody was scared of him. Yeah. Well, you know, I ain't but about 5'1". About yeah. yeah. You know, uh, about 120 pounds, so well. He's a big old boy. He was scared of everybody. I said, hey man, I'm willing to get knocked out, are you? <laughs> See, when you're willing to get knocked out, you don't fight anybody. Yeah. Oh, come on now. See, when you're a Christian, I'm willing to go all out. That's right. That's right. I'm willing to go all out with or without. Or without you. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But making a decision to go from where you are presently spiritually to where Jesus wants you to go to the next level, He wants you to go to the other side. I believe Jesus is making that statement to all of us today. How many of you want to go to another level? Yes. I didn't see but two or four or five hands go. See, that's what's wrong with you. you see, see, when people ask you a question, when it comes to Jesus, how many of you are ready to go to the next level? Yes. See, when you want to go to the next level, now the devil can say, okay, let me see how, I really, how bad you really want to have it. Yes, see, I played in the NFL. It, everybody can't make it in the NFL because you got three a days. You got meetings. You got to get up early. You got to go to bed. You got to get up early. You got to go. And it's hot and it's hard. And the coaches try whatever they can to mess with you mentally. Where do you think the devil come at you first? So if you don't fill your mind up with the Word of God, I know you got a great Bible. Story. I know he's a great Bible teacher. Your place should be packed every Wednesday night. But see, some of y'all, well, you know, I'm too busy. You know, I can't get off work early. Okay, keep working that job. See what happens. He'll snatch it from you. Then you'll be coming here, Pastor. I ain't got no job, Pastor. Well, he told you to come here on Wednesday night, but you're too busy. You ain't busy now? I know, I know. I know. Jesus said, let's go to the other side. But what is the other side? Is it your prayer life? Is it your openness to the moving of God? Oh, this is a good one. Is it your battle against a sin? Oh, let's think about that. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Uh, give me your eyeballs. I can see you anyway. What sin are you battling with that won't allow you to go to the next level? Jesus. Your discipline in the word of God. 
your walk with the Lord as a whole, what is keeping you from going to the other side? For some of us, the other side may look much different than it does for someone else. My brothers and sisters, this wasn't a suggestion. Jesus said, we're going to the other side. May I suggest that Jesus is doing more than asking you. He's telling us that we must cross over to the other side. That is his plan for you. See, when I lost my dad, when I lost my dad in 2018, lost my mom in 08, the only way I can see it. The only way, I got to go to them. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? They ain't coming back. No, sure. Your loved ones ain't coming back. Coming back. They gone. They go. They're already on the other side. Right. They just waiting on you. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I believe that there are some questions yes. that you and I need to ask ourselves. Mm -hmm. What would you willing to do to forsake? Mm -hmm. Look at verse 36 with me. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was on the ship. Now, let's talk a little bit about that. Jesus was teaching to a multitude of people. Jesus is tired. Jesus is tired. He's in the physical. He's tired. He got tired just like you. He taught the multitude. And the Bible says when they had sent away the multitude, the disciples took him even as he was. He was tired. Uh -huh. And watch this. And there were also with him other little ships. They had been willing to leave the crowd behind in order to go to the other side. Ask yourself an honest question this afternoon. What do you need to leave behind if you want to grow spiritually? What is it that you need to leave behind to grow spiritually? Oh, come on, talk to me. Okay, can, can I talk to It may be a sin issue. Is there a sin you're dealing with? And what about your schedule? Where does God fit within your priorities? In your schedule. Where does he fit? Yeah, hey, uh, he demands your time. Do you got time for it? Yes, yes. Is it a certain someone that's stopping you from growing spiritually? If so, kick that joke out. Yes. All right. All right. Uh oh. Right. Uh oh. Your toes all right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like I said, I'll be right back there by that flower. Y'all take a look. I'm gonna be back there next year. I'll be right back there. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now. What would you forsake? Number two, what will I take with me? Look at verse 36. I'm going to take Jesus just the way he is. Uh -huh. In Matthew 16, 24, Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let's talk about the cross. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the cross for a minute. What is it? That you need to take up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is good. I know y'all, this ain't no shouting stuff. This is real stuff. This is something that God told me to tell you. We're going to the other side. But in order for you to go to the other side, what is it that you go forsake? And what is it that you go take? 2019, as you remain here on this earth, spiritual greatness is going to cost you something. You didn't hear that. Spiritual greatness, Doc, is going to cost you something. It's going to cost you to stay up late at night, get up early in the morning. You're not going to be able to bother Sister Tamika because he's dealing with you. You got to go in your prayer closet and he's going to deal with you one on one. Have you ever been dealt with by Jesus one on one? That ain't no good thing because, see, you can't run from him because he know the truth. See, you can trick me. Well, Lord, I go every Sunday. No, you don't. You come here with an attitude. You don't come here and want to praise the Lord. You come in and bring in your power. Lord, Pastor, when you a child, come in here and praise the Lord. Oh, I'm, 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 
oh, 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 this is my boy. I'm, I'm coming back. I'll sit right back there and protect me if I have. I'm coming back. I'm just telling you the T R U T H. That's spelled two. Can we keep going forward? They took Jesus as he was. He was exalted. Exalted. When you decide to follow Christ, you make a commitment to take Jesus with you. Just the way he is. And nothing else. When you take Jesus, you have to love people who you don't want to love. You have to forgive people that you don't want to forgive. And you got to help those who are hurting. You want to follow him? You got to come out of flesh. Look at, come, come on, come, come here. Uh, Y'all ain't leaning up. You lean toward me. I want to make sure I got you. When you want to help folks, when you don't want to help folks, you got to do it anyway. When you don't want to pray for people that you got to pray for them anyway, let me tell you something. Your real friends will be with you. That's right. But then Fairweather, is, that, is, is it a song, Fairweather Friends? <laughs> See, you go find out. In these last days, you go find out who with you, Doc. Sister Tamika, you go find out who with you. Me and the first lady at New Generation, we've had so many people leave. You know why? Because I told the truth. I went all because the word said the truth. I can, can I tell the story real quick, Doc? I had a woman. And you know what? I'm not going to apologize because I'm behind this sacred desk. Yeah. She come to me and said, but Pastor, I want to bring a couple of my girlfriends to church. Yeah, sure. So, but absolutely, bring them on. Uh -huh. Bring them on. Well, you know, you, you know what I mean by girlfriend. No, I, I knew, but I just want her to say it. Yes. I said, no, man, but what, what's going on? Mm -hmm. She said, well, you know, they, <laughs> you know, they girlfriends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring them on. Come on, preacher. I said, bring them on in there. I'm going to love them. But when, that, when this word get on them, right. they ain't going to be able to say the same. See See that? See yeah. now, now you judge it, Pastor. Yeah. See that? What's right is wrong. What's wrong is right. My question to you: If you want to go to the other side, what you go stand for? Yeah. See, don't compromise, folks. Yeah. What will it profit for the man to gain his whole world. world and lose his soul? I'm gonna tell it like it is. Yeah, they can come on in here. Yeah, come on in here. I'm gonna preach the word. I guarantee you. So you tell me you won't marry him? Absolutely not. According to Genesis 2. A father and a mama ain't got no business. Because it said a man. Oh, 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 you didn't read it. A man should leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife. He didn't say a man and a man or one. He said a man and a woman. Now y'all can do it. You can say what you want to say, but you know, Pastor, you know, I, I got some, I got some friends. You know, they, you can have friends all you want to. But I'm gonna tell you right now, they going. To, oh, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Love those who are hard to love. Forgive them unconditionally. Help those that are hurting. If you notice, there were other little boats. There was other little boats around. When you make a choice to go to the other side with Jesus, you will see other people following you. When you make a choice to follow Jesus, you go have a lot of other people following you because they're watching you. Oh, let me see how she go at that word. Let me see how he go act. Look at him. He acting just like the world. Why would I want to come to the church? He act. Look at her. She just talking about everybody in the break room. Why should I go to that church? They just like everybody else. We cannot afford to be like everybody else. We're trying to go to the other side. Church, keep in mind, people are watching you at some strategic times in your life, in your pursuit. Your relationship with Jesus. In your problems. How many of you are just in 2019 and this is only the second week in February. Only six weeks in, in, in 2019. How many of you have already been through some problems? Yes, sir. Oh, wait. You ain't even got, we ain't even got good. Is this supposed to be the love month? <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I, I've been thinking. I've been like, Lord, now. They said, I don't feel love. You need to come on back because, you know, I'm I'm trying to do what you tell me to do. I'm, 
I'm praying. How many of you pray? Yes, sir. Amen. Come on, Amen. come on, real Amen. folk. Real folk, come in. Real folk, come, come in. Come in. How many of you pray and you get up and you still mad? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, see, I don't. But see, that's the enemy. That's the enemy. Look, look, look. If you go come to the altar, leave it here. Come on, right. Don't take it back with you. That's right. Not only are they checking you out in your pursuit. Uh -huh. Not only they're checking you out in your problems, mm -hmm. but they definitely checking you out when you're persecuted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now listen, there was a man by the name of Stephen. Look at Acts 7 and 16. Mm -hmm. Stephen fell on his knees and cried out to the Lord, do not hold this sin against him. When he said that, he fell asleep. In Acts chapter 8 verse 1, Saul was there. Saul later became Paul. Mm -hmm. See, this young man was being persecuted, Stephen, but what happened was Saul saw something in Stephen that changed his life. So my question to you is what impact will you make? What impact will you make living the life of Jesus or with Jesus? Now, the Bible tells me that there was a storm and the storm came after Jesus had said, we're going to go to the other side. Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? Uh -huh. Jesus made a serious impact mm -hmm. on these disciples and the other little boats and the storm. Mm -hmm. Here's my thing, brothers and sisters. Listen to this. Jesus said, we're going to the other side. Yeah. Not only we're going to the other side, he didn't tell us that it was going to be easy. He were going to the other side when he went to sleep. Now, Pastor Mary, this is what get me. We Jesus must have been cool. But see, when you done created the wind, when you created the rain, when you created the storm, when you created the thunder, when you created the lightning, you can sleep. Because you created it. So my question is, when you tell somebody close to you, Jesus got this. And the reason why Jesus got this is because he created everything. No, one of the disciples said, carest thou not that we shall perish? In other words, hey, Jesus, look, man, you told us we were going to the, to the other side and we got a storm. You know what Jesus was, Jesus didn't, you know, and this is what I love. You read the Bible, read the story. Jesus didn't even say nothing to them jokers. You know that sometimes you say something to the Lord, he don't even say nothing to you? Because you all know better. You should already know better. He done told you we're going to the other side. And then what the, the carries thou not? Boy, oh, this is good. Anybody have them mamas and daddies that told you when we go to the store, don't you ask for nothing? Don't you get nothing? And I ain't buying you nothing and don't you touch them. Anybody ever say, and, 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 and you remember what mama used to say? Boy, when we get in this store, don't ask for nothing, don't touch nothing, and I ain't buying you nothing. And you walk into that store, what the first thing you do? And they say, see, my mama was old school. See, we didn't have 1,001, 1,002. Now that they go in there, I'm gonna put you in the corner. Mama slapped her. Mama. Yeah. Mama, mama didn't care who you were. If you were another kid acting up, mama bust you. But see, that's how the community was back in those days. See, now you can't do that. You gotta be politically correct. Come on now. Let my boy do something. Pastor Mary says to me, got the right. Whoop it. Whoop it. Whoop it. <laughs> see, that's a drone. See, see y'all. I mean, you know, dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, time out. Jesus said, we're going to go to the other side. Now, Jesus looked at them disciples. And the reason why Jesus looked at them disciples, he didn't say nothing to them disciples because he created everything. Now, 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 look, look. And here's the thing. Why didn't Jesus say anything to them disciples? Why did he talk to the storm first? This is why. This is why. He got up. He stepped out. He said, peace, be still. The wind and the storms and the rain said, my bad, Jay. Jay, I didn't know you was in that boat, man. Jay, look, man. My bad. 
J's for Jesus, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> My bad, J. I, I didn't know you was in there. And then, this is what I love. He looked at his disciples and he says, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? You think I came all the way out here on this boat to die? Boy, don't you know I got to go to the other side? I got a woman that's got to issue blood. She needs to touch me. I got to go raise Lazarus. He going to die. But I'm going to bring him back. You know what else? There, there's no blind by the martyrs. He got a problem. He can't see. So you think I'm going to die here in the ocean that I created? Some of y'all are saying stuff to Jesus. He's looking at you like, why do you have so little faith? I told you we're going to the other side. You know why he had to go to the other side? Because he came 42 generations. When he came down, 42 generations. He didn't come down here to die in a boat. He didn't come down here just to just sit around and drown in the sea. What he came down here for was to die for you and me. So I know right now I'm going to the other side. How many of you are going to the other side? If you're going to the other side, get on your feet. If you know you're going to the other side, stomp your feet. If you know that everything is going to be all right, clap your hands. See, I'm going to the other side with or without you. I didn't come down here to be on the little boat. I told you I was sleeping. And the reason why I'm sleeping, because I created the wind. I created the storms. I created the rain. So I'm not worried about no rain. My question to you, what are you worrying about? If you're worried about something, where is your faith? I didn't come down here to die in a boat. I got to go to the other side. Now when I go to the other side, there's going to be other people around you that's going to be checking you out. And I'm going to go to the other side with that joker. And I'm going to go to the other side with that joker. And when I get on the other side, I'm going to see some more miracles. How many of you, when you get to the other side, you want to see some miracles? If you want to see some miracles, say yes. If you want to see some miracles, say yes. How many of you got some loved ones on the other side that you want to go and see? How many of you know that every little thing is going to be all right when he got to the other side? All of his folks that he thought was with him. You know, you had Peter, you had James. Come on, come on, James, come on. And you had John. He only had his three boys with him. So see his three boys said, listen, I got to go somewhere. Y'all stay here and pray. Went around and he prayed. And then he came back. They were sleeping. He said, they're sleeping. Why are you sleeping? So he went back. Prayed again, came back, still sleeping, went back and prayed again, and I love this prayer. He said, Father, 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 if it's your will, let this cup pass. Father, I really don't want to die for these jokers. I done came all the way to the other side over here. They thought that I was going to drown in the sea. Don't they know who I am? I am the son of the living God. But nevertheless, not my will. But your will be done. He gets up and he's ready. See, when you get off your knees, you got to be ready mentally. So he goes back and they still sleeping. He says, sleep on. So 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 not only did he go to the other side, yeah. uh, not only did he die, uh, but here's the good part. Yeah. Early, 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 early,
They hooked him. They beat him. They talked about him. They spat on him. And then guess what happened? All of his boys ran away from him. They ran away from him. Pastor Sin, I gotta tell you, not everybody gonna be with you when things go down. But nevertheless, not your will. Let his will be done. After they beat him down, after his boys left him, he says, do what you got to do. Because I'm going to the other side. What's the other side hurt? I'm glad you asked. I gotta die. I gotta die. See, when you die, things are gonna spring up. Have you ever planted an apple seed? And a few years later, the apple tree grows up. Have you ever planted love? And then a few months later, love comes to you. Whatever you sow, that shall you reap. And then this is what happened. Early, 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 Sunday morning. Something happened. It was an earthquake. Have you ever had a rumble that happened in your life? Have you ever had something happen that made you stir it up? It says the stone rolled away. And as the stone rolled away, it says that it was angels sitting up on the rock, looking down. So then he had Mary and the other Martha coming on down. And they said, why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. Don't tell my disciples and Peter that I'm alive and well. You know why? Because we're going to the other side. May God bless you. God bless you. I, I wish, I wish, I wish there was a song that Pastor Mary and I normally sing every year. Can they do it? Can y'all do it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you, you got a mic. Get this man. This is the get this man a mic. Oh, y'all sit down. This is this, this, this. See, anything happened to Stanley, anything happened to me, this is my song. <laughs> you know what? How many of you got something to be thankful for? You got something to be thankful for? Now, Pastor, I like the way you sing. I'm just going to be a backup. I'm going to be on the other side waiting for you. Go ahead, Pastor.
this church. I'm going to come back and I'm going to sneak in. I'm going to have on a hat. Y'all see them flowers back there? I'm, I'm going to sit right back there. Don't put him up there, but I'm going to stand there. Don't put him up there no more. But listen, the other side, listen to me. You may go through some storms. Sister Tamika, hang in there. But see, you got to remember who's in the boat with you. See, see, we serve, right here. And this brother, we serve the storm Jesus. I'm going to come back and preach on the storm chaser. Yes, because see that storm chaser, see you got to be willing to go through a storm. Yes, sir. See, I ain't scared of none of y'all. Yes, <laughs> see, see, when you got God in you, yes, amen. Yes, yes. Yea, though I walk yes, after the valley of the shadow of death, guess what? I will fear no evil. God bless y'all. May God keep you. I love y'all. God bless you. <laughs> I guess as I got the mic, I'll finish it out. We're going to take the opportunity to be someone today that may have heard the word and not known the Lord for themselves. We know that the opportunity will be given now that you might come and confess and believe that the Lord Jesus is your Savior and your Lord. So many times in life, we came for one thing and something else pops up. But I would ask those of us who do are believers today that we've self-assessed what the word we've heard in these last two weeks thus far. Can I apply it to my life? And if I can, will I apply it to my life? And if I can and will apply it, when will I apply it? Father God, we thank you. Amen. search your purses or because I'm little, I lost um, I had two cell phones out there and um, there's two iPhones and um, I can't find them now so if you can check your pocketbook your kids pocketbooks or something like that for me they're both on silent mm -hmm. yeah. um, let's find them phones on this yeah. job phone yeah. can't do nothing with them yeah. so if you can I appreciate it Just a token of appreciation for you. Just, just want to thank you for your words today. Just a token of appreciation for my God bless you. Look here now. Look here now. Look here. 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 Look all women, please come up. Women's department. Amen. Amen. This is about you, right? Okay. Um, first family. Oh, you all are over there. Y'all want to come up with this? We have something for you all as well. Amen. Amen. You know, we rolled deep. We did this all you. We thank and praise God for our first family. We love you all, and um, we just wanted to share our love with you and share. I mean, uh, love is an action word. So anyway, um, we had some ideas, and we were asking, uh, I was inquiring, who could make us a money cake? <coughs> and someone pointed to Sister Regina and Sister Nicole. Oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Um, on behalf of the women's department, we'd like for them to present oh, so you all. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. And we have something for the kids as well. Yeah. Okay. It's not real money, it's fake money. Oh. Real money is in here. Real money is in here. Oh. Hey. 
No, 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 that's for the, that's for you all. This is for that's, the kids. Yeah, for the kids. Oh. Um, yeah, take it. Oh. So. Oh. <laughs> But we love you all very much. The real money in the envelope, but that's real money. That's for the kids. Yeah, you all get to the want to thank you all again for coming out and worshiping with us and Elder Allen, Allen Elder Faith Allen she's one of our um, yeah she, she was one of our first elders and she's also a founding member so thank you thank you for coming out with us today thank you um, ministers thank you for coming back thank you for finding it not robbery come back and worship with us I know Reverend was going to do this, but I'm going to jump the gun. Yeah. How about our baby? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, y'all, we're working on it. We're going to have Mount Zion musicians here soon. Yeah. And Mike, don't even try to go. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, keep pushing Tyree over there, talking about my arm hurt. Your arm ain't hurting all the time. <laughs> but thank you all, mothers. Thank you all. These mothers are rod and die. Yeah. They like, you know, they don't like driving in the night at night, but they like, we have a church, we're gonna be there. And I thank you all. Thank you. Uh, I'm speechless. Put your hands together for our preacher now. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you all. This is my brother. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to have friends yeah. and brothers in the ministry. Uh, I thought as an associate, I thought I knew uh, what it would be like, but I had no idea. Until, until, uh, until I decided to take the decision that the Lord had placed upon me. And he's just, it just seemed like he continues to give me more and more and more within my house and out into the people of God. Because I have a great love. My mother was such a teacher of loving people, regardless of where they are. That is in, nothing but that is instilled in me. So I'm honored today. I want to thank Mr. Parker here for staying over with the word. Her permission to be here. You know, I love it when these preachers don't really talk. They don't know. They don't know what the other person's preaching. And for the last four s services, it's been a, the theme. It's going to go get higher next month. I mean, we got the next. So we thank God. But let's take this word, guys. Let's do something with it. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to take an assessment. And I want you to ask yourselves, uh, those that you do have connections with, ask your sister, ask your brother. Uh, you know, we flood this place at 11 o'clock. And that's a beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong. I am grateful. However, I do believe that when we are inviting people to come and be with us, especially in the afternoon, um, we need to find a way to stretch ourselves. This is only once a month. And I would say once a year, and I want to say this, even if it wasn't about me and my wife, it was for anybody else. We got church anniversary in May. I, I would presume we'd all would be there for the 11 and the 3.30 service, amen, because we all are part of the church. So encourage your partners that you talk with through the week. Uh, let them say whatever they're going to say. And then when they're done, let them know they're wrong. That's right. I'm with you, Reverend. I'm with you, Reverend. Tell them you love them and tell them they're wrong. All right? Because I guarantee you, somewhere in life, me or my wife have done something for them in some small way. 
And it's not about you know your money or your, I just want to see faces. I want to see faces of realness, people who are really appreciative, because we need that too. When you give it out all day, when I, I'm not joking, all day long, people call you. They expect you to say a kind word. They expect you to say a loving word. They expect you to say hee hee hee, go and all that. And all day long. Amen. Amen. And I'm gonna be selfish for right now because I'm I'm still in grieving mode and I had a chance to do that yet. With knowing what I've been through this week, I really. I desired more this month for the people of God. Amen? So, with that being said, reach out to your cousin. Let him know. I love you. The pastor needs us right now. First lady needs us right now. Don't worry about what you ain't got. Come. Amen? Amen. We'll work the rest out. Amen? Amen. So with all that being said, we thank God for this great day. Uh, so much is straight ahead. We will have one service next week. Amen. Amen. That's communion Sunday. Right? Yes. It will be communion Sunday. Amen. Remind me of something after service. Uh, I have to be somewhere at 10, but I'm going to get there a little late. But with that being said, I have to go to another service for someone else. But uh, let's continue to reach out and go further. If you cannot see the way this place is booming, the way we're growing in so many yeah. different ways, what I don't want to miss is somebody missing the train because they just weren't paying attention. Yeah. Not that they meant to miss it. They didn't want to go with it. They just weren't paying attention and the bus went by. Yeah. Remind your, your, your brothers and sisters in Christ how important it is to have a presence. That means a high and part in the seat. And their <laughs> prayers. That means what they bring forth. And their presence. What they present to people. Yes. Smiles, handshakes, hugs, calls, texts. Let's do that. Amen. 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 God bless you tonight. We thank you. Shall we stand for our final prayer? Amen. Put your hands together. We bring back the man of the hour, Pastor Ricky Wells. I love you, man. And we yes, should be back next year. Okay. Oh, you know, I'm coming back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't leave. Don't do See, that, I want everybody to get that flower. <laughs> every, every time y'all. Every time I, I know, Doc. I know. You. Every time y'all y'all see that flower, I want y'all to think about how much I love Sister Tamika mm -hmm. and Brother Stanley. Yeah, all right. Uh, you know, these, these are good people. And let me tell y'all something. Good leadership is hard to come by. Yes, it is. You got, we got a good leader now. Yes, we do. You know, I, I, you know we, we kind of go through the same, but, you know, we, we stay on our knees for y'all. You got a good leadership here. You first lady, come on now. Look here. Don't take it for granted. Uh-oh. Let me stop. Can we, can we get out of here? I want you to join hands with somebody. I want you to join hands. Uh, don't be afraid to touch him. If you can connect all through the aisles, I don't know if you if you got to move, get out your comfort zone. That's all right. We're going to the other side. Listen, my brothers and my sisters. No matter what you're going through, God will deliver you. We have so much to be thankful for. You know, God, yeah. Come on, come on. We all family. When we get to heaven, y'all see this right here? See how we all connected? See, I may not see you every day. You may not see me every day. I may not see you. You may not see me. But when we lift each other up in prayer, it changes things. God told his disciples, let's go to the other side. And we're going to go. All right, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe in my heart, I believe in my soul, that lives have been changed tonight, souls have been saved, when they leave this building, they're going to appreciate their pastor and first lady even more than what they did when they came in, as they go about their week, let them know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. 
I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. We serve a God that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Be with the first lady. Be with the leader of this said church. I pray for their family as a whole. And I pray for everyone that's under the sound of my voice. That when they walk out of here, they'll be representing Jesus Christ. Father, we ask all this in Jesus' name. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah.